WeWork's new owner has put its London expansion plans under review after SoftBank stepped in with a massive bailout for the company. It is reported that the co-working space giant, which scrapped plans for an initial public offering, IPO, this year, has paused 28 possible deals as SoftBank seeks to change tack. Read more, WeWork could be worth zero, says Blackman. The deals in question range from initial property inspections to advanced talks, sources told Bloomberg. Now SoftBank has hit the pause button it is unclear how many of these offices will now become WeWork buildings. One building whose future is now in question is reportedly 5 Churchill Place, the former home of former investment bank Titan Bear Stearns in Canary Wharf. WeWork was in talks to lease one and a half floors of the building, two sources told Bloomberg. London has always been a fantastic market for us and we continue to see strong demand here, a WeWork spokesperson said. We now have 48 buildings open across the capital and have announced a further 11, including 17 St. Helens Place in the City of London which we signed this week. WeWork's relentless expansion in London and Europe saw losses skyrocket 900% at its internal division in 2018. WeWork International sank to an £80 million loss as it poured money into 30 UK locations. Now, however, Parent firm We Company is curbing that pace of expansion as it attempts to bring home a profit to pacify skeptical investors. It pulled an IPO in September, then dethroned its colorful founder, Adam Neumann, handing control to two co CEOs. Neumann stepped down from the board as part of the SoftBank deal, which netted him £1.7 billion, £1.3 billion. He stands accused of gender discrimination and of smoking cannabis in front of a pregnant member of staff. Read more. Ex WeWork CEO Adam Neumann accused of pregnancy discrimination fitting out WeWork's plush offices, and the subsequent marketing of them to possible tenants, are major factors behind WeWork's $2.9 billion losses. Under Neumann, the company was losing roughly $2 for every $1 in revenue. For more on this story, visit the news article link.